top story tonight. A search team with the U.S. Navy believes it found wreckage belonging to El Faro, 15,000 feet underwater. National Transportation Safety Board officials released a statement saying the search team will use deep ocean equipment to confirm it is in fact El Faro. It is the first day of November. It's almost coming to a close at this point, and things were definitely more noticeable as it got darker way earlier today. Let's check in with meteorologist Ariel Hooley for what is in store this month. Ariel, how is November looking for us? Police in Belfast say a Searsport man was found dead in a brook on High Street yesterday. They say the 28-year-old man had been reported missing by his family the day before. According to authorities, he was seen acting strangely at a store in town but slipped away from officers. Police searched through the night for him. They say there's no sign of serious injury or foul play. Fellow had come in the store. And Governor Paula Page and First Lady Anne LePage are also getting into that holiday spirit. They invited military families for a Christmas celebration at the Blaine House today. The First Lady says it's a way to spread Christmas cheer and show her and the governor's appreciation made by Maine's military service members. Among the invitees, Maine's Travis Mills. It was lovely outside today, at least in comparison to what I've seen in December's in the past. So is it going to stay? It is going to stay. Bear us good news, please. Thank you. It is going That's to good. stay. That's I, good. I asked what people had planned for the day tomorrow, considering it's going to be so warm. A lot of people are actually decorating their houses tomorrow. It's going to be oh, a great day. That's awesome. To get out and set up those lights, although it's a little tough to get in the Christmas spirit. At least I, I don't think, think so. so. I think there's plenty to go around. We don't need the snow <laughs> for that. But to each their own, to each their own. So well, what, what are we going to see? The good news. The Woodlawn Museum in Ellsworth is opening its doors for most of the month this holiday season. Every day from 10 to 4, Woodlawn invites their guests to enjoy room upon room of decorated Christmas trees. The theme this year is Festival of Trees. They teamed up with 22 local businesses to help decorate them. The museum also partnered with the Eastern Maine Model Railroad Club for kids to enjoy the model trains. Still to come on TV5, downtown Bangor shining bright earlier today with the parade and tree lighting. Listen to folks what folks are saying about this annual spectacle coming up. But first, the border battled headed to Durham tonight. We'll have highlights of Maine UNH game 2 plus opening day for many high school hoops teams. Highlights and more coming up next in sports. The Festival of Trees display is $5 for adults, $1 for children. Both the displays will run until December 23rd. Say lots of holiday cheer in the air, although it was quite warm out today. I will say, personally, I felt it was warm at least. But let's check in now with meteorologist Ariel Hooley, who also, right, it was warm. Am I right about that? It yes. was, yeah. Warm it, for me. <laughs> it's tough to get into the Christmas spirit when temperatures are a good 10 degrees above average. See, I wouldn't say it's tough, but, <laughs> but it's, it's, it, it's definitely different. Different. I, I think all of us would have been okay with a little bit of snow, at least throughout mm. the parade route today. Maybe a couple flurries just, just to set the mood a little bit. Perhaps, I don't know. What, 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 what are we looking at? What's coming up? What's coming up? Are we seeing any of that white stuff? <laughs> absolutely not. If you liked the day today, then you are absolutely